I'm Charles Miller, GM at Evans Transportation. It's a balance to achieve best practices in transportation without breaking the bank. One of the ways that is usually untapped by a lot of uh, customers is their inbound shipping. Uh, most of their inbound, if they don't control it, is going to be prepay an ad from their supplier. Um, so it's covering their transportation costs plus whatever other costs they may have uh, assigned and maybe they're using it as a profit center as well which means that most of the freight that they're going to receive is going to have a markup on it. Not in every case but there's going to be many opportunities to save money by converting that to collect, uh, inbound collect. It can be a, a hidden cost to a lot of people because they may say well, our, our, uh, our products are delivered, deliver costs. It's included in the rate. But uh, as with everything, um, there is a cost to it. Uh, it's important to know what that cost is. So uh, our recommendation is working with suppliers to at least add a line item for freight costs um, to, to help identify you know, how much is really associated with it and help them do the analysis. What would be better to move it over to uh, their contracts and collect or keep it the way that it is because there's advantages for a supplier to, to reduce dock congestion and all the other things that we talked about earlier. Um, if, if they don't know what that cost is, um, you need to press them for that information. Working with your purchasing department to work with their buyers or their sellers uh, to truly understand freight cost and what percentage of their total deliver cost is freight is going to be really important to try and peel that out and understand if you should convert it to collect or not. I, I think uh, one thing that's uh, often overlooked because um, uh, it takes quite a bit of effort, honestly, is understanding what type of dry or ambient material you may have in your supply chain that could run on a refrigerated product. Um, the, for example, the minimum charge for a, a refrigerated shipment is much, much higher than a dry shipment. But if you can utilize your dry product on a refrigerated trailer, and take advantage of that asset that you've already booked and uh, part of that cost is already uh, uh, being allocated, uh, you can start to drive some, some efficiencies that way as well.